No more billionaires. None. So how about this? After you reach 999 million, every red cent goes to schools and healthcare. You get a trophy that says, I want capitalism. And we name a dog park after you. Wait, 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 wait. Bro, you're telling me you want to die? And you've lost brain cells from watching that clip? Because that makes two of us, my guy. God, let's go through more of them. That seems like a great idea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that clip that you just watched is from the great goddess herself. The woman that all men should bow down to before she kills you, Lena J. Oh! You're probably wondering, who the fuck is Lena J? Well, I'm here to tell you that she's some nobody that apparently has 900,000 TikTok followers. I know, unbelievable. 900,000 for that brain dead content that she just made you guys heard what she said right because i i definitely heard it unless my ears don't work properly from all the air rape from the rainbow six siege that i've been playing with my friends personally i do the streaming in the mic but we won't speak on that but yeah i thought it would be a great idea to sort out some of these videos and then put it in a video so you guys will share the pain with me not really because i feel like you guys already clicked off from that first clip if not let's get into the second clip and see if you can survive if women can't have abortions, then the government needs to stop wasting $85 million prescribing Viagra for broken dicks. God broke your D, the consequences of life. Broken Ds are a natural way of life, just like babies. No abortion for women. No fix a broken dick pill for men. Seems fair. Okay, now I have a lot to say on this clip yet again. Like. Bro, that's two different things. Erect also, also, let me, let me add in, does she not know what erectile dysfunction is? That she's calling it broken D or broken dick, whatever the fuck she's calling it. But, but that, aside from that, right, from her being dumb, not knowing what er erectile dysfunction probably is, um, that's two different things, right? One is technically murder, and the other is a medical condition. Now, I, it, it's somewhat, it is kind of unfair, but at the same time, it, you, you cannot compare those things. That's like comparing a Supra Mach 4 to a freaking Hyundai i10 or something with normal stock engines. Which doesn't make sense because a Supra Mach 4 has a 2JZ engine and the Hyundai i10, I don't know what engine it has, but it won't be able to keep up with the Mach 4 Supra. Why? Because the Supra is so fast. That's what I'm saying. Or what I'm trying to say is her comparison is complete shit. Like, you can't take erectile dysfunction and compare it with abortion. It's not the same thing. One's a medical condition, and one is, I don't even know what to call abortion. Abortion is abortion. So, like, it doesn't make sense. Like, you, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm losing brain cells watching these clips. I'm really sorry that I'm putting you guys through this. But we'll, pro we'll power through it. I, I believe we can do it. I believe we Why are men afraid of being falsely accused? Just stay indoors. Don't put yourself in situations like these. Don't drink. Dress modestly so that women don't mistake y'all for predators. Stay home, especially during night, so you don't stand a chance to appear threatening. Problem solved. Okay, now that's the first video I've seen of Selena J. Ovo on TikTok. And when I saw this, I, I honestly... I don't know what to say because recently I've been getting a lot of videos on my YouTube recommendation where it says man released after two years of being falsely accused of rape and I watched these videos and these guys they talk about how how it's affected them and how their friends and family see him because you know when he was proven guilty these people see him as a rapist now because he was proven guilty and now this woman comes out and says no she just falsely accused him and he, he goes on to say like oh if he tries to get a job and stuff it's gonna look bad on him even though he was falsely accused and you know it's, it's still gonna haunt you two years of your life is gone maybe that's why maybe that's why we're scared of being falsely accused because most of the time when you people are falsely accused they still end up in prison and when the woman come out saying that they falsely accused the man nothing happens there's no charges 
they live their life normally. Maybe that's why. And unlike you, when we see a woman do this, we don't in general blame all women for this. Like what you're doing. You, you're just blaming all men for the few bad men that you've gone out with or whatever happened to you. I don't really care about your life's philosophy. I just care about you making this shitty videos because I want you to stop because you're killing people's brain cells with them. But yeah, and then she says men should dress modestly. But I have something to say. You say that, I say women should dress modestly. Because you get these women that come out on the streets that are dressed half naked. They look like prostitutes. So next time you say men should dress modestly, maybe you approach those women and tell them that. Because I watched a documentary over here in South Africa where they asked actual rapists why if they why they have done what they done and basically this one dude he said the reason he done it was because the short skirts and whatever tempt him and that's why he done it. i didn't watch the whole documentary i watched about a few minutes and i clicked off of it because i had to go i don't even know why i clicked off of it but i did click off of it so yeah these documentaries very interesting but i mean her content some of it makes sense like a few of the videos do make sense, which I will, you know, show you at the end. But for now, let's go through, let's keep going through the bad ones. If you have a son, buy him a notepad, a body camera, and a recording device. Get him a battery pack too, so that he could protect himself with video evidence of every single encounter that he has with a woman. Men aren't safe in America anymore. There's a war on men. Or you can decide to just teach your son how to respect women. Fewer things to buy. You know, I said it before in this video and I'm going to say it again. Also, if, if I sound different from earlier, it's because I'm not tired and my voice doesn't sound like I'm half asleep. Like I said earlier, she basically had a few things with men who have probably treated her bad or something. And now she's holding it against every single man. Because I can promise you that in this world, there are still gentlemen. There are still good guys. There are still all of these things. But if you scroll through TikTok, you will see that it's not that we're gone. It's just that modern day society, most, not most, or 50%, 40% of women don't want gentlemen anymore. And by that, I mean that. You know, women aren't looking for the good guys anymore. I see it all over TikTok, dude. Some good guy goes to ask out a girl, and she breaks his heart. And then the next day, you find out she's with some badass athlete or whatever. whatever. You, you, get what, you get the picture of what I'm trying to say. And then a week later, uh, that dude breaks her heart. And where does she come? She comes right back to the dude whose heart she broke. See, the world <laughs> the world's upside down, man. The world is really upside down. We need to change around starting by telling Lena J that not all men are bad yes there is bad men in this world I will agree on that but not all of us are bad so please Lena J don't think of all of us men as criminals please because some of us are actually good okay now before we lose any more brain cells I'm gonna show you guys one of her videos that I can kind of agree on it's like yeah Okay, she's actually using her brain in this clip. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, play for you guys. When the penalty for aborting after rape is more severe than the penalty for rape, that's when you know it's a war on women. See, now this one here I can kind of get behind. Like, she's kind of using her brains, but it's not something I really want to touch on. I don't want to touch on it when it comes to the laws and whatever. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, uh, just comment down below, tell me you want a part 2 to this, or you want me to react to something else, I'll be sure to look at the comments, maybe drop a few comments myself, you know, replying to you guys, or whatever, and if you guys did enjoy the aesthetics, tell me, if not, I can put some gameplay, or whatever, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and please, always, always remember that you are amazing, and loved, now again, Please have a wonderful day, you beautiful, wonderful. You're just going to get older and harder and more alone. And one day, you're going to look around and you're going to realize that everybody loves you, but nobody likes you. And that is the loneliest feeling 